Dear students, I am Shiva, Faculty of Physics. Today in this session, we will try to understand one important topic that is force on dielectric slab at constant potential. So first of all, take one capacitor. This capacitor initially uncharged. In order to charge it, connect this capacitor, this plate to positive terminal, this plate of the capacitor to negative terminal. So after connecting this capacitor to the terminals of the battery, what will happen? The capacitor start to charge. After some time, the capacitor plates attains the potential difference that is same as that of V. So here battery potential difference V and plates also charge to the potential difference V. Thereafter, assume these capacitor plates are square in shape. So even this is 3D diagram, and here I am showing to you 3D view. Even it looks like uh, uh, rectangle, uh, uh, parallelogram in shape or rectangle in shape. But remember, this is a square. This is a square plate of side length one L. So this is also square plate of side length L. This is also square plate of side length L. So after seeing like this, assume we are inserting one dielectric slab. Say the dielectric slab having some dielectric constant K. So whenever you are introducing this dielectric slab, what will happen? So these charges, what are the charges now you are seeing on this uh, plate of the capacitor? We can say free charge. Huh? This one clearly I am showing you in the 2D view. This is 3D view. This is 2D view. So whenever you can introduce this dielectric slab, at that time, because of these free charges, here you are seeing positive free charge, here you are seeing negative free charge, these free charges start to induce what type of charges? Induced charges on the face of this dielectric. This positive free charge creates negative free charge. This negative free charge creates positive free charge. Now, observe carefully this positive charge attracts this negative charge. This negative charge attracts this positive charge. Means this positive individual charge experiences force in this leftward direction. This negative individual charge experiences force due to this positive free charge in the leftward direction. Finally, the resultant force acting on this dielectric slab also we can see in what direction? In the leftward direction. So here also I am showing the same direction. I am showing now the force acting on the dielectric due to these free charges on the surface of this uh, plates of the capacitor acting in what direction? Leftward direction. Now one question we can uh, raise in your mind. What is that question? What is the nature of this force? This force is constant. Otherwise this force is variable. Otherwise this force now depends upon back what factors. Means this force now exists continuously or this force exists only for some time. Otherwise this force is responsible for what type of motion. Now here clearly we are seeing means after the derivation, after proving the derivation we can find out the nature of this force. But here I am, I am trying to make one point clear. This force now responsible for the oscillatory motion of this slab. Why? Now here I am showing this force now. Now this force now making this dielectric slab to move in what direction? To move in this leftward direction. Whenever this dielectric slab completely fits between the plates of this capacitor, suppose I am saying the distance between the plates of capacitor is D, whenever this dielectric slab completely fits between the plates of the capacitor, at that time the resultant force, this force on this dielectric slab now will become zero. So at that time then what will happen? There is no force. But Due to the continuous action of this force, this dielectric slab gets some velocity. Okay, 
so this velocity make the slab to move still to go further out of this uh, place at that time again this force again comes to act in what direction in the rightward direction why whenever this slab now comes to this direction these free charges start to exert some force on this dielectric slab in the rightward direction again this one start to move in the rightward direction again whenever it fits in the plates in between the plates again this force is zero again whenever it will go to this side to this right side again this force start to acts in leftward direction means this process will continue in this manner that's why this force clearly we are able to see responsible for what type of motion oscillatory motion but one point here we need to confirm further this oscillatory motion is simple harmonic or not okay so what are the forces now we can take under our consideration this force is variable or constant and this force is responsible for what type of oscillatory motion is it simple harmonic or not so regarding to these concepts we will see in our next video thank you for watching